Welcome to Tool Screen Printing. Today what we're going to be printing is this elephant tee. Printed, uh, I did this design like about like a year ago. Um, I don't know what's special about this design is that um, I, I had had it in my head for like two years. And I don't know like, I don't know, probably some of you have the same like problem where that you guys procrastinate about getting stuff done and then one night I was like fuck it I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna get it done right so I started illustrating it and it took me like six hours to do it you know and it's like um, one of the my favorite designs that I've done and it's a lot of, um, of our customers favorite designs um, so, so so what this is um, about basically um, it, it's just um an idea um, I guess I might have had it in my subliminal like like uh, my subconscious I mean like because um, I guess the, the, the homie third eye had done a, a, a design with a, a elephant with a gas mask but um I had like forgot about it it's not like I was biting him you know but um but it makes sense because you know elephant has a, a tusk or a trunk and then um I always wanted to put a gas mask, you know, kind of like how this um, Psycho Realm one has it. Also, I did it because there's a lot of Psycho Realm fans, you know, and, and just people like gas masks. And um, I put up, I put these war, uh, the tanks and the uh, the jets or the fighter planes because um, cause I didn't really know what to put on the glass because I didn't want to just have it white, you know, so was, there's kind of be some kind of reflection. So he has to see something, you know, and that's why I got the idea of putting the war. But it makes sense because he's in war and then having this gas mask, it's like war, you know, so it makes real sense. And since he's an elephant, you know, of course you have to have some kind of elephant print. So his ears, you know, that's the elephant print, you know, and you could always change up the colors on the ears. It makes it, makes it real interesting, you know, and I put our logo right here, but... Yeah, this is the elephant. That's his story, you know. Um, just um, shows you that um, to not really procrastinate and to get stuff done. And that's what it taught me, you know. And and actually, also that um, as long as you put your mind into something, you could make it happen, you know. So, so this is what um, it um, represents to me, you know. It's like the the war, the struggle of like, like fashion and, and like the struggle within your own self you know and this is what the elephant means to me that i could make things happen and i could get creative myself and i could i could knock stuff out you know just as long as i put my mind into it and a little bit of time and effort you know you could um you could be ill, Ill like this elephant yourself you know <laughs> but yeah let's just get um this um design started so what you do first is you get a, a a blank shirt. Or something to print on. Cause um, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna do, um, there's an old shirt right here that I don't wear anymore. So I'm gonna just use the back of it since it's white. And go ahead and tack it down. And I already uh, aligned them ahead of time, you know, so you'll get this done faster. So I'm gonna just put this here. And this design is only printed on black shirts. So we're gonna use the, the black of the shirt as the outline. But in order to align it, we need to uh, do the black where the black is at first, you know. I still have a black screen for it. I could probably use this and I could print on gray shirts or white shirts, but I just try to keep it like just black shirts, you know? And plus I like how the print comes out, you know? So you gotta go ahead and swipe some black on there. Get some more. All right, look. Just enough so you can see the outline, you know? Just a little quick, little swipe, get it around everywhere. And you see how it fit? Actually, um, 
this board is not big enough so I'm, uh, when I print it I'm gonna make sure to print it on the big board but right here I'm just showing you how it works you see how how the thing is on there so we're, we're gonna go ahead and wait for the flash dryer to heat up and while I do that I'm gonna go get a black shirt All right, it's, it's heating up right now. So since it's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and start printing the shirt itself, which we're gonna use this board, which is a little wider. So tack it down. And, and what I always do also, I, I check where I want it. Usually like this one, I would have like three fingers off right here so usually the color is like two fingers so it's like right here or like half and half depending on the size of the shirt this one is an XL so I might do it half and half half out you know but that's how it goes just make sure that usually a shirt has a line right here and you just like see it and then you measure the sides I do finger wise so it's like five, a little less than five fingers I do the same thing here right here is four so I'll move it a little bit this way and then just lift it up evenly and I measured it and it was like three fingers like this so it's gonna land here you know it should be cool so you just press it down and since we're not gonna use the uh, the black I'm gonna just go ahead and start using the white but the thing about it is that I already uh, pre-aligned it, you know? Watch, this is the other one that I did, so I'll show you guys. If I drop it, it's gonna land right where the white's supposed to be, you know? That's what I use the black for. I use the black to, um, to make sure it's like aligned, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the white. Um, and again, right here on this white, I'm using the 40FF white, which is called, it's, it's uh, fast flash, which it cures pretty quick. I just like it because it doesn't bubble up or, um, you know, it, 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 it stays straight. It might gloss up a little bit, but it doesn't like get like bubbles or little pimples or like burn, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So, this is still like heating up. I should have had it heated up before <laughs> I did this, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just fast forward it while this heats up and I'm gonna drink some water. Always make sure you drink a lot of water because it gets real hot, especially when it gets over 100 degrees. And um, you know, you want like pretty good ventilation. Maybe have a fan running so it'll keep you cool. But yeah, water is real important. Try to drink a lot of water. And since since the design is pretty big, I, I um I and the flash is like this big, so I just carry it right here and then I move it and I carry it here and then I'll move it down and I carry it here. But I suggest like if you're doing big prints like that, you invest in a big big um flash, you know? But it's gonna cost a little more. I know a lot of you just start with the little ones, so I'm just Letting you guys know it's real important to cure it because you don't want to drop the screen and then if the paint is real thick, especially with the white one, it might pick up the shirt when you drop another color screen because it gets stuck because it's still wet and it's going to disalign it and, and sometimes when it, uh, the screen doesn't drop perfectly where it's supposed to, you might leave an outline of where the other paint was at and it doesn't look good, you know. Just take your time and make sure it's cured, every color is cured. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Tool Clothing and Tool Screen Printing. Um, also, I'm about to start doing some periscoping. So like if you guys have any questions and you guys want to talk to me in person about anything, that'll be the place 
um, to go do that, you know. And also follow my personal Twitter, where I put like uh, inspirational and positivity, um, not really quotes, but just videos of other um, entrepreneurs that, that inspire me. So definitely check them out, and um, I'm gonna keep on trying to update it more, you know, and put some interesting things where you as um, as you know t-shirt makers or um, business owners will um, learn and and you know just because there's a lot of the thing is uh, it's about mind state you know as long as you study positivity and, and try to better yourself you will become that positivity or that person that you study to be you know that you work hard to be so that's real important you know but yeah shout out to um the the six sides um you know the psycho realm family for for hooking me up with this um big duke or uh, general duke um t-shirt you know the sickles yeah I, I just had to have this shirt I, I actually traded it um to one of their um their um their homies that um represents their shows over there at the um at shows you know because they promote like flyers and stuff and he had some shirts on deck and I had to just trade him a two wheel shirt for this one because it pr it's pretty hard. Look at that. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you guys might already know, I'm a, I'm a big um, hip hop and you know, hip hop fan. I just love Psycho Realm and, and Wu Tang and a lot of West Coast, East Coast. Even like Spanish rap, you know, but yeah, because actually hip hop is what um, what got me into like just l loving music, you know, in general. Because you know, hip hop samples a lot of like soul and like different kinds of styles of music, and and I just like l finding out what what they sampled and all that, and I I started actually loving music. I wouldn't say more than hip hop, probably, but just as much as hip hop, you know. But I always go back to hip hop just because it's like, it's like the culture, you know. Like that, that, a lot of a lot of the shirts that we do, have to do with the hip hop culture, the weed culture, and the graph culture, you know. And and you know it's all like it's all one, you know. So yeah, we're definitely gonna be coming up with more designs. So like hip hop influenced, graph influenced, and of course you know the cannabis influenced, because that's what we're about, you know. All right, so I, I just cured this white, and I'm gonna actually go ahead and, and hit it one more time. But since since this right here is like real detailed right here, uh, I'm not gonna swipe it there. I'm just gonna swipe it here and here, and then here. But the important thing is when you when when you drop it, you want to make sure it lands in the right place that it doesn't like show like a little bit of black on the side, because then it's not gonna it's not gonna look good. Especially when um, you you have um, some machines that are not really, um, they don't have these clamps and micro adjustments. It might be a little trickier for you to make it land in the right place, you know. So always make sure when you drop stuff, that it's dropping in the right place. That's if, if you could even tell. Sometimes you can't and you're going to mess up shirts, you know. But it's just a learning process. So I'm going to go ahead and just swipe this. Now I'm going to cure it again. See, I'm pretty clean. Sometimes when, when uh, um, it's not curing fast enough, you want to just drop it down. But don't don't really drop it too low, but keep it like around like one and a half inches. I think that's like the lowest you could have it. And it cures pretty quick, you know. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to align the other colors. Actually, I already have these aligned, you know. Um, as you can see, you know, the, the white drops right where the um, black, you know, fits. And then this is the light gray. And it lands right in the inside where the black is at. Actually, you see how like it, it was like um, it was showing a little bit of black on the side. That's because um, there might be the micro adjustments, or maybe your board is wobbly. But 
make sure um, you drop it in the right place and then just tie in everything, you know? To make sure it's tightened and check in the clamps on the sides also. That's why it's real important just knowing your machine, you know? That's the most important thing, like knowing what, where it's wobbly or where you have to turn it to a side a little bit, especially with the manuals, you know? I'm not really too experienced with automatics, but that's what it is with these manuals, yo. You know, you gotta be real careful with the not when you drop screens, don't jerk them or push them or cause then you're gonna start messing them up, you know? So this right here, it's good to go. This one lands well too. And since so we already have all those colors aligned, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and start printing these, but this is one of the most important things right here too. This is um, one of the colors. Uh, make sure it's tying real well on the, each of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna swipe this. Somebody ordered a custom um, red eared one, so I did that. But we're actually gonna print um, some turquoise ears. So this works pretty well because we're using a a black bait uh, a black shirt, so we don't need, need to use a black on there, you know. So I'm gonna use this red, and then I'm gonna use this red to along the turquoise, and then I'm gonna just print the turquoise, not the red. But you could always like print like two different grays or however you like you know what anything you like like white and gray that looks pretty tight you know it's, I, we just did it so we could just match the Jordans you know cuz that's what people like and also have like some Jordans that that are like pretty cool color like charcoal and black you know I so I have a shirt that matches that but any color looks pretty hard though All right, so what we're gonna do first is that the light gray. And this one, since there's just like real fine detail on these letters, you gotta be real careful not to over swipe it. So you just gotta make sure it has enough paint and then just flood it and swipe it again. Do the same thing with this. And then just leave it alone. Just one color. Or one one swipe. Look at that. Looks cool. Okay, so now we ha we have the um, the red ear um, aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and take down this because we're not gonna use the red. And I'm gonna get the turquoise screen over here. And this is a turquoise screen right here. Let me just go ahead and drop it down. And align it. Align it to where the red is at, you know, it fits right on there. And you just tighten it real good right here. And we don't even need to practice on it because it's landing right. You just lift it up and then drop it down and make sure it lands right. Cool. Because there's some, there's some screens or maybe like some clamps that you have that you might align it. But then when you lift it and then you drop it down, it kicks it out, you know. So always make sure that to lift it and drop it and make sure it lands good. So that's good right there. We already cured this light gray. So we're going to go ahead and do a charcoal gray now. Make sure you touch it and make sure it's um, not really too hot. And then you can swipe this one. And always make sure, try to drop it where it looks like it's gonna land right, all right? Just swipe this. And then bam, we got the charcoal on there. It's just like little fine little detail, you know, just so it could look, look more, like, you know, more, more quality. You put more, the more colors sometimes you put, the more it's gonna like look right, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we have to get the um, the squeegee for that turquoise. Let me see. Uh, 
and here it is so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I think this is already dry so we're gonna just go ahead and put some of this turquoise on there what you want to do you always want to make sure you have enough though so I'm actually gonna add some more turquoise on this You know enough to do whatever you need to work with sometimes you don't want to add too much because then um, if you don't have like a big squeegee the right size you might leave lines so what's more important you got to learn how to swipe right like how I swipe I, I go like in a little kind of circular motion just so I could um, not leave any lines but it all, all comes through experience actually right here if I go like this, it'll land good. So actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just go straight here. And just one, two, and then lift it. It looks good, no? I'm gonna do two um, layers on that because I don't have a white under there, or else I would have just done one. But you know, it's a little more tricky because um, with that, like all the fine detail, I don't want to have white in between, you know? Or else I would have to really cut it with the black, and I'm not trying to do that. A lot of designs that we do at Tool Clothing, we use the black shirt as the outline. So if we're doing only black shirts, we ain't gonna use the um, a black outline. You know, it's not just to do it faster. I just like like the feel of it more. You know, and it it comes out cleaner a lot of the time. But there's a lot of them that we do cut it with the black just cause um. You know, it makes sense. But um, it, it's all it all comes through experience. You know, it just Whatever you think is works for you, go ahead and do it. You know, the swiping, anything, burning of screens, cleaning, everything. Whatever just works for you, do it however works for you, you know. Everybody has different styles of doing it. So, you know, I just cured this real quick. Tap down, make sure it's not too hot. Because if it's too hot, it's going to get stuck and it's going to clog your screen. And you have to um, do a screen opener and you have to take the screen outside. So, it's like... It's a headache. That's why it's good at having six stations. All right, so go ahead and just do one good swipe. Lift it up. And then we're good to go. Throw it through a conveyor dryer. And we got the elephant shirt. Change up the colors or do whatever, you know. Just get creative with your designs and don't really limit yourself. Always um, try to think of ideas and write them down. And whenever you do get a chance, try to knock knock them. Just keep on focus focus on one design, work on it, work on it, work on it until you're happy with it. And then just you know, through experience, you'll get better and faster at it, and and you'll know what you like, you know. Yeah. So let me just show you guys the design one last time. This is the elephant design. Brought to you by Tool Clothing. This is Jabron Rodriguez signing off. And don't forget to keep it too ill. Alright, peace.